Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to turn your black hoodies into bleach dyed hoodies, so stay tuned. Yo, what's up guys? This is the What A Funk Stories vlog, and on this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can bleach dye your own black hoodies. So we're going to show you guys all the materials you need, the hoodies, how long to dye them, everything that you may need to know to create your own DIY bleach dyed hoodies right at home. Alright, so before you guys start this process, I just want to give you a quick tip. Wear clothes you don't mind getting bleach on. So this is a really, really good tip you're going to need to know while bleach dyeing, because the bleach will get on your clothes, trust me. I wore some nice brand new black pants, and you know what? I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to get bleach on it, and guess what? Got bleach on it. So wear clothes you don't mind getting bleach on. Number one starting out tip. So you don't need much when you want to start bleach dyeing hoodies or shirts. All you need is some gloves, bleach, Get the good brand bleach because if you get a bad cheap brand, sometimes it will not work. So make sure you get a good brand bleach and a spray bottle. So I marked this bottle bleach so I know it's always bleach in here. And I'm going to show you a little tip and trick right here in a second. And the last thing you're going to need is a black hoodie or a black shirt. 100% cotton This will, or 50-50 cotton. Either way will work. Whatever you have that you want to bleach is going to work. So just get a black shirt or a black hoodie and you'll be ready to go. So we're going to mix the bleach with water in this bottle right here, but we're going to mark it. So I left marks on here of how much bleach to put and how much water to put. I put this much bleach and then this much water, so like about half and half mixed. And I like to mark it to, on the bottle so we, if I want to recreate the same piece of clothing again and have the same colors, I'll be able to have it exact. So make sure you mark your bottles of how much bleach and how much water mix you put and make sure you mark right bleach on there too. That also helps. Next step is to set up your work area. So usually I like to work outside when I'm doing bleach dye or tie dyeing, but it's the winter time, it's cold out. So you know, we're in New York, you gotta work inside. So I set up some cardboard on the floor, it's ready to go. You could do the same thing at your house, put some cardboard or something down that you don't mind messing up or getting bleach on. So that's very important too. So this is what we got here. This is our work area. We're gonna be working on every hoodie right here. All right, so now we're gonna mix the bleach and the water in this spray bottle right here. So go to your sink and do this over a sink, guys. Just please do this over a sink. All right, so you see the lines right here? I'm gonna fill the first part with bleach. So do half bleach, half water, if you want the look that we got. And I personally think it's the best look. So here we go. One-handed, everybody. One-handed. This is what you gotta do when you vlog and do videos. One-handed everything. I'm holding a tripod, but, you know, hold on. Let me see. Perfect. Alright. See, I'm already making a mess. Very messy thing. Bleach dye and tie dye. As you see, we got the half bleach. Close up the bleach. Always get the good bleach. Don't forget that. Big important tip. Major tip. Major tip. All right. So it doesn't matter, hot or cold water. Make sure you fill it up the right amount. All right. So we're all filled up to the line. As you see, I already got bleach all over me. All right. So we got our bleach all ready to go. We're about to start bleach dyeing. So there's different methods to bleach dyeing, but for our method, I'm going to show you guys how we do it. This is just another method. You could do it the traditional way where you tie it up with rubber bands. That's also a way to do it. But how we do it is a little bit different for this piece. We're trying to switch it up, trying to do different things. So this piece, I'm gonna show you guys how we did it. So we go right here, you take your hoodie, spread it out. Like I said, you could traditionally do it the traditional way as well if you want to rubber band it like a regular tie dye. But I want to have a little bit more control of the dye. So this is what I did. I just scrunched it. I just scrunched it up, scrunched it up, just to get a little bit, just scrunch it up with your hand. Try to do this before you bleach dye it. Before you start taking the bleach out, once you get the bleach out, it goes all over the place, so trust me. So now you're in a little bit more control of where the bleach goes. And then we take our glove, we spray the bleach in our hand with our glove on. Make sure you have a glove on, just to be safe. You don't want to spray bleach on your hand like that. It also, I would double up on the gloves as well. So. And we're just going to scrunch it together with the bleach on our fingers, on our hands, just like this. 
and then we have more control if we want to put more we move it around we add more different places so spray the bleach with the spray bottle or you could spray it directly on there you could also spray it directly on there but I want to get more control of my hand and just feel around see where it goes you'll see you'll see how it goes so you take it spray it in your hand like this I'm not sure this is the safest thing to do but do it at your own risk you know what I'm saying all right so take it right here spray it in your hand Do a little test squirt, little test squirt on the on the cardboard. Take it in your hands, and then we're gonna scrunch it around like this. Scrunch it around. There's no wrong way to do bleach dyeing or tie dyeing. Just have fun with it. That's the most important part when dyeing stuff. Have fun, experiment. It's gonna be different. Every piece is gonna be different. And if you do it like this, you could get them all similar. If you repeat the steps that you took last time, sometimes I have to make a video and remember what steps I took. I'll rewatch this video or rewatch videos that we make, see what steps we did to create some patterns. Just in case I forget, you know what I'm saying? So this is like, this is how we did our newest bleached dye hoodies that we just dropped on our website. And we did a lot of them, so just imagine doing this a lot of times. So you're just squeezing, spray it in your hand, squeeze it. And I know this is a crazy way to do it. You could also tie it up. That's another way to do it. Now you can just move things around, see how you're gonna want it. See how the dye is doing, where you want it. You can spread it open a little bit, see what's going on, see what spots you've missed. Spray it in your hand, get it in your hand, scrunch it, scrunch it. You can already see the dye is already starting to show and it's going to get lighter. It's going to get lighter once you wash it, you let it sit for a little bit. I usually let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. So spread it out. Looks pretty good so far. Might add a little bit more on the arm. I want to get a little bit more on the arms. Oh yeah, definitely need more on this arm. And you don't want to go too crazy. You always want to keep a little bit, some black in there because it looks better with the black. I need the contrast of the bleach and the black to work together. And the, don't go too overboard with the bleach, you know? It's depending. If you, I mean, if you want it to be crazy, you can make it go crazy as well. But the best way for me, I think, is the contrast thing. Just doing the right amount of bleach. Not too much, not too little. The right amount. Perfect. You know, it looks a little brown right now. Wash it, it's gonna be, wash it and dry it, it's gonna be a little different. All right, so we're flipping it over. Do the same thing on this side, scrunch it up. Always don't forget the other side, you know what I'm saying? Scrunch it up like this, just to start out. Get an idea. Then we scrunch it. Like this you guys can see the style that it's created really it's like kind of looks like some kind of camo almost like a camo bleach dye look so you could see the color changing here you can see the color changing as it dries so you flip it over it's already this side is dry almost and it's already a light color and then once you once you wash it out and dry it, it's gonna be even lighter. So don't worry about if it's not light enough for you. It's definitely gonna be light. So we're gonna let this sit for a bit. We'll scrunch it back up. Let it sit for a bit, about five, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna rinse it out.
right guys so you see the hoodies all bleached up and now after you're done bleaching them you wait 10 minutes let them dry for a bit as you can see the colors changing already it's getting a lot lighter and now after this we're gonna just bring them to the sink rinse them out or bring them to your tub and just rinse them out as much as you can try and get all the excess bleach out of it and after that you're gonna bring it to your washing machine and then wash and dry it I'll tell you guys how to do that right now all right guys so now we let it dry and throw it in the sink turn the water on soak it for a bit rinse it out get out all the bleach all the excess bleach hot or cold water it don't really matter at this point just rinse it out make sure you wring it out soak it up soak it up guys So don't worry, it's going to look dark right now after you wash it out, but don't worry, it's going to come right back once you put it in the dryer, washer and dryer, it's going to be perfect. So don't worry now that it's dark, if you're not messing up just yet, you're good to go. So now that you washed your hoodie out, you dried it out, this is what the finished product should look like. Everyone's products will vary, but this is what ours looks like. This is the front of it, all bleach dyed, as you can see, and here's the back of it. And like I said, you can see the colors have really brightened up a lot. If you have any questions about washing and drying it, just leave a comment, I'll help you out. I know we didn't film that part, but check this out. And right now, I'm gonna show you guys a bonus step that we're doing. We're sewing our logo patch right on the front of this hoodie, because this is the hoodie that we've came out with. So I wanna show you guys a little bonus step. If you wanna add a little flair to your hoodies, check this out. So we're gonna add this patch and sew it on our hoodies. So right now, we are lining the patch, getting it lined up with the center of the hoodie and putting it in the right location, making sure it's straight, and then we're gonna pin it on, and then we're gonna sew it. There it is, all pinned up, ready to go. Now we're gonna bring it to the sewing machine over here, and then we're gonna start sewing, guys. Cannot wait to have this finished hoodie hype. done now it's the time to take these pins out and hope not to get poked by it but you know I already got poked by them like 10 times already because that's what happens when I sew I don't know if that does that happen to everybody when they sew let me know in the comments if you if you sew how many times you get hit with one of these while you're sewing so check it out guys this is the finished product our piece drippy funk bleach dye hoodie as you see we put the patch on there it's really really dope this is really really cool i'm really excited about this one uh but this is what it looks like finished let me know what you guys think in the comments but check out the details let's check out the details real quick wow boom all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked the video please hit that thumbs up Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this, more DIY tutorials, and check out the other tutorials that we've made as well. We've done bleach dye hats, custom tie dye hats, and a bunch more tutorials, how to screen print, how to sew, everything you may need to know. So please check out all of our other videos right down below. Thank you so much for all the support, everybody, and hope you like your hoodies. Share it with us on Instagram so we can see what you guys made. Thank you so much. Peace.